the eye of Mobius sees you! Stop that! You'll damage the hull!
space for my calculation. Imagining all sorts of imaginary numbers right now. Imagining all sorts of imaginary numbers right now. there. Uh, you are there, aren't you? Uh, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. Uh, you seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? Uh, it's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left your yeah, right, FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. 
teeth went black a while ago. <laughs> That's old age for you. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. <laughs> the flying tortoises ooh, were the worst. Would you care for a mentat? I love mentats. Delicious and smarty. I have all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky talents are zipping through my biogel. I forget them all not long after, though. Especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations. Although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. Oh, a variety of raisins. You're something of a homily. The anomaly? You're really quite special, and not in the cranially challenged way. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well... Your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. I'm not sure, except that I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. I have very good reasons for almost everything I do. Even if I forget them occasionally. Although I feel this one is especially important. <laughs> oh well! Oh, curiosity. I experience that less now that I know everything. Oh, maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Mm hmm. The ghosts aren't real? That changes everything. Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual impossibilities. Please be my guest. Uh, the receptor is there. And the side-switching wobbly bob? Uh, just turn that. Good. Good. Better. Oh. Oh, yes. That feels wonderful. This is even better than my afternoon Mentats break. Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the desert, <laughs> like poisonous frosting. How scary, I thought. But they had survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts and acted as walking eyes and data-drained computers and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about... Custard. I do so love custard. Or oh, was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. I find things curious as well. Go on. Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent. Except when I am. Then, <laughs> watch out! So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe.
teeth like a big spherical long. <laughs> As for the psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Some reason for it. Ethics or, uh... Mm. Con science? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the raisins better than I do. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name, and my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. But, yes, I did uh, take some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have plan C's in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. Uh, probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here. Or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several plan B's in case the A's fail. Oh, you figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Oroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world, sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too-far thing-taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. Really? It is so unlikely to make an error in anything I do. Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. 
That I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up... Then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria, finally able to see its host. There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. Yes, very good. I should have Mentats ingest you instead of the other way around. Hmm, Mentats? In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal, and yours was a light case of bullet headitis. But it was enough for the autodoc in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem, and the brain extraction technology for once worked. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial cells into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... I consider coincidence to be profanity, along with the words astrology, herbal tea, and luck. So watch it, potty mouth! My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, pardon my language, all those technologies are needed to put a brain, uh, your brain, back into its skull properly. Oh. That means my plan is a total failure. That is unfortunate. Oh well, at least I tried. The X2 antenna can be used to focus your alpha wave frequency thought patterns. The sneaky suit? Why, it houses a cardiac regulator. And the sonic sound wave projecto emitter was never intended as a weapon. It was a medicinal vertebrae pulse desensitizer. In short, brains, a heart, and courage. Spine. I think there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs sought these things. They had them all the time in the story. Didn't stop them from murdering to get them. And it won't stop the think tank either. Yes, my overly aggressive Camda broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget, fear, rinse and repeat program. Oh, and the get me the things to castrate your only possible escape attempt. 
But I couldn't delete you or your arrival any more than I could the other visitors. Only so much science can do when you started talking to them. You're really quite difficult to ignore, you know. It's because you're, well, bah, rather intriguing, if you'll forgive an old brain for saying so. Yes, yes, this is getting interesting. You are just filled with these little slices of curiosity, aren't you? Oh, intriguing. I've never been killed before. Although, after that time I got that phlegmy discharge in my biogel, <laughs> I wished I had been. Well, if there's going to be killing, I defer to your expertise in this matter. How should we begin? Engineering viruses? Cancerotic beams? Atomics? Electrocutioning? Or should I summon my minions? Yes, my minions. Have they not constructed themselves yet? That's a bit premature of me. The Robo-Scorpions, of course. They can assemble themselves from floor panels and parts scattered about. Quite inventive. Never really know when they might suddenly appear. Minions, destroy this intruder! Hmm. Or perhaps make it more dramatic. Minions! To me! <laughs> oh yes, that's quite a bit better. So, you think you're a match for sight? Yes? You two couldn't possibly have a relationship. You have nothing in common. themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through pits of radioactive muck again? Ah, well, as to that, you'd be surprised how hard a feminine-sounding voice modulator is to find in the Forbidden Zone. It's not as though brain-sustaining life support tanks grow on trees. I had to take what I could get. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? Yes, well, believe me, the opposite is equally true. Good lord, have you bathed at all since they pulled me out of you? Well... I see sarcasm hasn't eluded you. Fine, perhaps now isn't the best time, but it's the principle of the thing. Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a, quote, dick, unquote, as if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus-infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? 
I most certainly am not. I am the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, do you know where those come from? Glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system, I can see how foolish your motives are. I... Well, look, it's all a very complex system of biofeedback and other things I wouldn't expect you to understand. Oh, all right. Perhaps I am, but at least I'm logical about it. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. Hmm, I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? Indeed, quite the conundrum. How do you suppose we resolve it? I suppose there might be some advantage to that, yes. There's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. <sighs> it's not that I didn't like being in your head, you understand. As far as heads go, it was a rather nice one. Well then, I suppose this is goodbye for now. What will you do? And you believe them? Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. Well, I suppose I do miss those endorphin rushes when we save the day. All right, what's the plan? That arrangement suits me fine. Do try not to get too many holes drilled in your head, will you? I may want to drop by for sentimental reasons. Right then, you'd best be off, hadn't you? The think tank will be waiting. No, don't worry about me. When you're gone, I'll flush myself over to the sink. It's amazing how far you can get in this place with a good flush. I'll keep myself hidden in the ductwork. Klein won't suspect I'm inside the dome, so he won't know the pacification field no longer works on us. I can also upgrade the sink's autodock with the procedures to reinstall your heart and spine, assuming you want all that flesh and gristle back. With any luck, I'll see you in the sink when this is all over. <laughs>